Guys, we are a couple of games away from the January window officially being open. Unfortunately, we have around 3.7 million to spend, so we're going to have to sell a player if we want to buy a player. You guys, of course, have your suggestions in the comments. I have some ideas of what players we could get rid of to bring a new player in, but we definitely will make a new signing. West Ham crew mode's back. If you guys enjoy it, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, turn the bell on, and let's get into it. Last episode's player of the episode has to go to Skalica, who really hasn't disappointed this season and he is already our top goal scorer. So we have Josh kicking off today's press conference saying give LaCroix an 80 plus rating. He doesn't deserve a 78. Also, you should improve it right back next season. So Fowl might perform okay, but I don't really see him in the future of this team. Now we have had quite a few big offers for Safal. We're talking like big clubs as well. I'm pretty sure I want to say around 30 million. I might be wrong with that, but if we got like 25, 30 million from we could actually sign a good 78, maybe like a Fring Pong right back around 78 rated. Of course, the big question is, is Kostic a left wing back or a left winger? You guys send you want to see him on the left wing. He's got seven goals, six assists, I'm pretty sure. So he is doing well. So he must be doing better at left wing back, which means if he's going to play there, we could do with a better left back. Some of you guys are saying play Cornet. We did not sign him to be a left back. I don't want him to be a left back. So therefore, we could sell a Ben Rama and use that money to bring in a better left back. I know you guys have mentioned that Masu Akira has gone on loan, but in this crew mode, we're just going to keep him as a backup. We have Cristiano Ronaldo saying, I think you should use Bowen and Vlasic on pens because they're seasonal objective. Yeah, of course, the second objective is to get 30 goals with Vlasic, Fornals and Bowen. The forfeit, if they don't do that, is spin a wheel and whoever it lands on, we sell. Just staying on the objectives, we have won the third one to get 18 points out of 36 against top six sides. A very nice game is Arsenal. We lost against Chelsea last episode. We beat Man City. We lost against Liverpool. We beat Spurs and we beat United. So we're, we're on track. We're like half and half right now. So this big game against Arsenal isn't just big because they're sick. The level on points with us, we need to be winning against top six. You guys have probably noticed the mod is not applied on the game right now. There was a game update, so I can't use the mod until an updated version of the mod comes out. Players like Skamaka, Gomez and Le Croy are slightly tired, but we are going to start them in this game. But I never actually replied to that suggestion Josh left about LaCroix's rating. He's young. He's got loads of potential. I don't feel we need to be boosting him. Boy, Saka has done so well there. Is Saka passed a big opportunity. Surely that's offside. Surely that's offside. It's not. It's 1-0 Arsenal. It's best thing since sliced bread Odegaard. That sadly is not the start that we wanted. Oh, Odegaard slips in. Flores, whoever this is. Back to Odegaard. Back to Flores. They seem to have a good partnership this game. Jesus in the box. Go on, keeper. Get down. Big save, keeper. Get the ball away. Now let's counterattack. Massive ball by Yanis like that to Jared Bowen. Prime, Leno Messi on the right-hand side. Jared Bowen still Bowen. Big opportunity. Can he get the influence? Yes, he does. What a goal. 1-1. Fantastic run by Bowen. And the finish on his right foot was good. Pass the keeper. Back of the net. And West Ham United are back in it. That is a finish. I don't know why the ball is that. I mean, I guess that's because we've taken the mod off and the game's a little confused. I don't know. The mod should be back maybe next video. Oh no, there's an injury. Oh, it's not for us. It's not for us. Gabriel Jesus, we don't want an injury to anyone, but it is a relief that it isn't for us. Right, got less than nine minutes left now. Jab Bunt on the right hand side. Can we get the three points here? The win. How big would this win be? Oh, Bowen, you're kidding me. That is dreadful. Right, two minutes. Add it on. We've already played played one one and a half it goes too quick it goes way too quick the game's over they could win it later on arsenal opportunity and they run it out the pitch and it's a point we have 15th for the league Fulham now we have a couple of these games and then we have the january window gonna sim it should be a win we're at home it's a one all draw scammer come with the goal we, we need to be picking up wins oh well, look at this we have psg coming in for funnels we're gonna reject it he might want to go but it'll just end up being another sanabria we have 19 for the the league Southampton now at home this should be a simple win it's a 1-0 win just about Antonio off the bench Bayern Munich also want funnels maybe funnels wants out he doesn't 
actually start. So therefore, in this game against Nottingham Forest, we will start Funnels. He needs to start a little bit more. We'll get Corne playing on the left-hand side as well. So a couple of changes against Nottingham. It's away. It should be three points. And it is a 3-2 win. Rice, Safel, and Kostic. So we're now officially here in January. And if we were to sell Safel and bring in a better right back with more potential, I just feel that he's less realistic because he's 81 rated. He, he isn't 30. He's 29. He's doing okay this season. And he's good at a rally. I feel left back is where we need to improve. We side Kostic as a left wing back, but quite clearly he's, uh, he's better at left mid. So I'm saying if we were to go out and sell Ben Arama, he's 26. I mean, I'm, I don't feel we're ever going to really use him, especially out wide. We're not using him out wide. He's not quick. He doesn't have great shooting. His dribbling's his good bit. His physical's not great. I feel Ben Arama's who we get rid of, and we bring in a better left back. We already have Miranda on the shortlist. We could get him between 20 and 27 million. He'd be the go-to, to be fair. I, I think we already have the replacement on the bench. We will look at a few others. If we can generate enough money to, to sign Miranda, then that's great. Of course, right now, we have 3 million. So uh, we, we're going to have to uh, really get some business going. Another winnable game. It is 17th Crystal Palace. We will make a couple of changes. We need to start Velasic just a little more. We'll start Funnels as well. Away from home. Should be a win. Our former club, of course. It's a 3-1 win. Yanezai Kostik and Safal. We have Wolfsburg interested in Diop. They've came and offered 18.5 million. We will reject. And up next, we have an FA Cup game, so we can rotate a fair bit. Now, this is a competition you do want to stay in. I mean, it, you know, the game does not like us to win the FA Cup or even stay in the competition. It's a 2 0 win. Stamaker and Declan Rice. Early Funnels has submitted a transfer request. The board have just come to me and said he's not happy with his wages. Of course, I go and say, okay, we can sort that out. No, we can't. Stupid game. He's gone and submitted a transfer request. So far, we've had no offers, and I don't want to get rid of him. As soon as I say that, Liverpool come in uh, and make an offer. Look, maybe Ben Rama could be that backup. But if you want him, Liverpool, you, you're going to have to offer 41 million. If, if you offer that, you can have him. They say no. We've had no offers for Ben Rama, so we might as well go in and say, look, do you want him? He's worth 16 million. Oh, dear me. How on earth are we going to get this deal done? 3 million and Ben Rama. What do they say? They want Diop. I don't want to give away Velasic. I definitely don't want to give away Cornet. I mean, we could give four nulls, but no, he's worth like 10 million more. We can't do that. This, this deal just can't happen right now. We have Leeds United at home. Should be another three points. Pretty sure they're bottom half of the table. It's a two-all draw. Funnels just score. Kostic also with a goal. Bowen missed the penalty. Somehow Club Bruges have come in and offered 32 million. I don't want to get rid of them. So if you want him, you're going to have to offer 40 million. And they say yes. Club Bruges are spending 40 million on Pablo Fornals. From Manchester United now. And just before the game, Fornals has asked to start because apparently he's playing well. Have it set an offer for him. So we'll do the unrealistic thing of, uh, of starting him. It's Jadon Sancho. Early on for United. Apparently Cristiano Ronaldo has scored three goals in his last three games. So he is certainly up for this one. Well, they've gone short on the free kick. Oh, it's expecting the free kick. Man United have absolutely done us there. Rashford with the short free kick. Van der Beek smashes it back in there. It's 1-0 Man United. And that is not what we wanted. Oh, another big opportunity. Cristiano Ronaldo strikes before halftime. And Manchester United are leading 2-0. The collar has glitched because the squad files and the mod is not applied. So you you're going to have to just excuse that. It looks absolutely horrible. I know. But bang. 2-0 Cristiano Ronaldo. Four goals now in four games. Is right. Can we get that ball out wide? I mean, we can now. Kostic, now Maserati. This is why we want Kostic at left wing back. I I'm changing it. I'm making a sub. We want Kostic at left wing back. Like, no, no joke. He gets forward better. The way we play, we do overlaps. He will get more assists if he is at left wing back. Here's Gamaka. Jared Byrne out wide. Now onto that left. Can he get us back in it with a goal? Still Bowen. Still Bowen. Big opportunity. Jared Bowen. What a goal. West Ham United back in it. It's a fantastic finish on that left. But I mean, that, that really is a great finish. He does it once again. Vlasic. A big ball there to Skamaka. Make a massive pass. Funnels. Can he get his last goal? Kostic. 
crossing that in. Big cross tackle right. Oh, what a goal. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Puck Kostek, a left wing back. He will score goals. Assist goals, not score goals. He may score goals as well. We didn't know what to do. We put it to him. He crosses it in. Declan Rice has got a bit of space because Manchester United are absolutely crap. Oh, is Cristiano? Oh, no, you're kidding me. Cristiano Ronaldo is nope. going to win it. Oh, what a save. We get the goal kick as well. Can we win this later on? Here's Socek. Lick that up for Bowen. It was for Skamaka. Bowen on that left foot anyway. Big opportunity. Jared Bowen just going to hit one. Jared Bowen. Oh, he's hit the bar. He's hit the bar. And that will be it. If that was just slightly lower, had a little bit less power on it, we've probably seen three points right there. Now we get a transfer offer for Ben Rama. You're kidding me. I'm, I'm going to leave that. I'm just going to leave it for a sec. Wait for Funnels to sell and hopefully he doesn't sell. It falls through because the wages. No, he is sold. He is gone to Clipbridge for 40 million. And now he's sold. We do have that situation of what? Do we sign a left back or another position? Because last game I was convinced that we're playing Kostic at left wing back. The way we play on the left hand side, the left wing back has way more opportunity to cross that ball than the left winger. We adjusted his stats slightly so he could actually be converted to a left wing back with the cheat table. So defensively, he's okay. Stats wise, he's very good. I mean, he's shooting. He has 79 finishing. He's just overall an incredible player. We have 40 million to spend. We have 188,000 pounds in the wage budget. We'll make that 155. We have about a week left in this transfer window. Next episode is a massive episode. I'll leave it here. So you guys can go to the comments and put your suggestions on what we should do. I feel that's the best thing we can do. We've never really done two episodes episodes in the January window, but we have here. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, turn the bell on, in the top left of your screen should be a video that YouTube recommend you watch.